Bruno's Guitar Garage is coming to you from a new room in a new house from an old part of little old New Zealand because it's not new. But here, just right, oh no, just about here, this is our test subject for today. And down there is my bass amp. And there's the 335. And down behind the couch, yeah, I've got a couch now, is the bandit. Now, let's get into it, shall we? My nice new green chair, courtesy of a hospice shop. Don't remember which one it was. 15 bucks. Sort of matches the couch. Comfy as fuck. Anyway, star of the show. PV Envoy 110. This is a very old little lamp. It is possibly the first run of Envoys, so late 80s, early 90s. It predates TransTube, because it's a teal stripe model, which is kind of blue now, but don't trust my judgment for very good reason. We have a high gain and a low gain, because active pickups are becoming a thing then. On the normal gain, which is clean, we have a bright switch, which is sort of useful. We have a channel select button, because of course we do. This low, mid, high is for our clean channel. Over here we have the drive channel, which is called lead. And the gain control is labelled super sat. Maybe the Saturday was really good, I don't know. Post is post gain, so volume. Then it, it doesn't have bass and treble or anything. It has bottom and edge. <laughs> I'm not sure what they were thinking here, but, you know, here we are. I'll set them at noon, just for the fuck of it. Oh, uh, that's noon enough. Yeah. Let's noonerize everything. The thing's already running because, you know, why bother pissing about turning it on in a video? Who does that? Um, on the back... There are three quarter inch jacks and a thing that says it is eight ohms and puts out 35 watts. Just looking at the construction of it, the, um, the baffle is a really obvious piece of chipboard. I'm not sure how original it is because it looks like the sort of home job I'd do. <laughs> but if it is original, then it's held up really well. Um, it has a serial number, it does not have a date of manufacture, but I'm sure it won't be too hard to find. It has spring reverb, and this spring reverb will make the Fender guys blush. We get a headphone jack, we get a preamp out, but not a power amp in. So no effects loop, and that's what stops it being a great amp and makes it only a good amp. And it has remote switch, presumably for... <sighs> going between clean and drive and putting the reverb on. Today we're playing the Santana because it's the most factory guitar I have in the sense that it uses the same value pots as factory and the pickups are the same. That sounds like cat food smells. Let's just crank everything up. just a sign of the times when this thing was made or if it's the 10 inch speaker or what but fuck it has a lot of mids <laughs>
um, bright switches off, so... Now with bright switch. So it does do something, it's like a, a high mid boost as opposed to just a treble boost. As for this mid business... touch the mids it's too much which is a little bit annoying but I bet there will be a ton of mods for this little thing <laughs> do I dare open it up oh golly what I have done is used it as a stereo out so with the bandits effects loop there's a delay in it and the delay goes back into the bandits effects return via mono out so I've taken the stereo, run into high gain, do this to it, turn the gain down to not much, and holy shit, what a good sound, the whole one clean, one dirty thing, oh, so good. That sounds fucking terrible. starts at negative 15 it goes to positive 15. Let's play with the bottom control.
down. level is probably a better term amp goes this was quite a cool little thing i don't know how big effects loops were back when they built this obviously not big enough to be on something like that it's not an amp packed with features it's something you just take somewhere with a guitar and plug in it and go Let's see what the reverb does <laughs> Thank you. 
seconds of trail off. That's quite cool. <laughs> sound into the desk oh, yeah. with preamp out or maybe that's so you can shit take the preamp out of this and put the plug it into the the bandits effects or oh, i wonder if that's a good idea that's probably a terrible idea anyway that's that's a very old p p boy fuck pv envoy 110 that has been Bruno's Guitar Garage, and there will be more content soon, because there are more things on their way. Because our poor postal service is getting absolutely nuked, and none of them have arrived yet. 